In this guide, you'll learn about the Ream AmbiPower 280 heat pump. We'll demonstrate the basic operation of the water heater, how to read the display, how to use the keypad and set the clock and timer. We'll also look at error codes that may appear in the event of a fault with the water heater. AmbiPower is a smart and energy efficient water heater designed to provide continuous, renewable hot water to meet the needs of medium to large families. Mains power must be available to the water heater at all times to ensure correct operation of the heat pump, controller and frost protection system. If maintenance or repairs are being undertaken on the water heater, the servicing technician will need to isolate the water heater from the power supply at the isolation switch or at the mains power board. Note that turning the control panel on or off does not isolate the water heater from the mains power supply. The water heater will continue to operate whenever mains power is connected. Note the main components of the water heater. There is a storage tank and an integrated heat pump. During normal operation, the heat pump heats the water in the tank up to a preset temperature of 60 degrees. This process continues whenever the water in the storage tank requires heating. In the event of the ambient air temperature being outside of the heat pump's operating range, the built-in electric backup element will operate to heat the water up to the preset temperature of 60 degrees. Now, let's look at the basic flow of water through the water heater. Cold water enters the tank here. It is heated by the hot gases flowing through the microchannel heat exchanger. Hot water exits the tank here. Note the control panel at the front of the water heater. The control panel consists of a display area and keypad icons. There are four selection keys or buttons at the bottom of the display panel. The on-off key to turn the water heater on or off at the control panel. The mode key. This is used to enter or exit the timer programming or clock setting functions. And the up and down keys. These are used when setting the clock or programming the timer function. Looking at the display area, the clock timer icon indicates the timer function is active. The timer on icon indicates that the timer on period is set. The timer off icon indicates that the timer off period is set. The ECO icon indicates the heat pump is operating in energy conservation mode. This is the standard heat pump operating mode. This icon is always illuminated. The water temperature display can show either of the following. Average water temperature in degree C. Hot water set point in degree C. During timer programming, the display will show either on or off to confirm the selected timer mode. The heating icon illuminates solid red when the heat pump is heating the water and flashing red when the electric element is heating the water. Once the set temperature is reached, the icon will go out. The clock timer display area shows the current time or the timer on or timer off setting, depending upon the operational status of the water heater. The usable hot water quantity bar shows the available quantity of usable hot water in the upper and lower parts of the storage tank. When the water heater is being powered up for the first time, the controller will enter self-check mode. A beep will sound and the display will illuminate for two seconds. To turn on the controller display, press the on-off key once. To turn off the controller display, press the on-off key once. The display will automatically go out and the controller will enter sleep mode after three minutes of inactivity. During sleep mode, the controller will ignore any key inputs until the controller is reactivated. Press the on-off key once at any time to reactivate it. Note the usable hot water quantity bar. This indicates the quantity of usable hot water in the upper and lower parts of the storage tank. The first solid vertical bar represents an average water temperature in the storage tank of 36 degrees. Each subsequent solid bar represents an increase of average water temperature of 1 degree. When all 25 bars are illuminated, the average water temperature in the storage tank is 60 degrees or above if a higher temperature has been set. AmbiPower 280E heat pump models incorporate a clock and timer function. 
The clock should be set to the current time when the water heater is installed and first powered up. The clock must be set to enable the timer function to be used. The current time must be updated manually for daylight savings. The clock displays time in hours and minutes, in the 24-hour time format only, and does not monitor day, month or year. The clock display is visible only when the display panel is on. It may be desirable for the water heater to not operate between certain hours, such as during a peak period when connected to a time-of-use electricity supply, where a more expensive tariff rate may apply. Setting the timer to operate the water heater outside of peak periods can help minimise the cost of hot water energy consumption. To set the clock, press the on-off key once to activate the controller and display, and then press the on-off key again to turn off the display. If the display is already on, press the on-off key once to turn off the display. Now, press the mode key three times to enter clock setting mode. The hour digits will commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the hour. Press the mode key once to save the time to the system. The minute digits will commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the minutes. Press the mode key once to save the time to the system. The display will now switch to timer setting mode. Either on or off will commence flashing, and the clock timer icon will also commence flashing. If a timer is not to be set at this moment, and on is flashing in the display, press the down key once. Off will commence flashing. Now press the mode key once, and the display will now go out. If a timer period is to be set, then follow the steps for setting the timer in the next section of this guide. To set the timer on, and timer off time. If a timer period is to be set and off is flashing, then press the up key once. On will commence flashing. Now press the mode key and the hour digits will commence flashing. The timer on and timer clock icons will also commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the hour digits. Press the mode key to save the hour digits. The minute digits will commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the minute digits. Press the mode key to save the minute digits. The timer on icon will now go out and the timer off icon will commence flashing. The hour digits will commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the hour digits. Press the mode key to save the hour digits. The minute digits will commence flashing. Press the up or down key to select the minute digits. Press the mode key to save the minute digits. The display will now go out. The timer can be cancelled at any time. Cancelling the timer will allow the water heater to operate whenever the water requires heating. To cancel the timer function, start with the display panel off. Press the mode key three times to enter clock setting mode. The hour digits will commence flashing. Press the mode key once. The minute digits will commence flashing. Press the mode key again. On will be displayed and the timer and clock icons will commence flashing. Press the down key. Off will commence flashing. Timer and clock icons will also commence flashing. Now press the mode key. The display will go out and the timer is deactivated. Frosty ambient conditions can cause water in the storage tank to freeze which can damage the water heater. AmbiPower's frost protection system activates if the water in the bottom of the tank falls below five degrees. When operating in frost protection mode, the heating icon will illuminate, the code FD will appear in the display, and the electric element will heat the water in the bottom of the tank to around 10 degrees. In the event of a power outage, the water heater controller settings will be retained in memory until mains power is restored. In the event of a fault with the water heater, an error code may appear on the display. In addition, an alarm will sound for six seconds. The error code will flash intermittently, alternating between the clock time. These error codes indicate the heat pump is not operating and the electric heating element will heat the water in the storage tank when heating is required. 
This will continue until a service call is made to repair the fault. Code F10 indicates the electric heating unit is not operating. The heat pump will heat the water as required. A service call will be required to repair this fault. Codes F9 and F13 indicates both the heat pump and electric heating unit are not operating. A service call will be required to repair this fault. Code F12 indicates the heat pump and electric element are not operating due to an over-temperature fault which will reset when the water in the bottom two-thirds of the storage tank is replaced with cold water as hot water is drawn off. When an error code is indicated, record the code and contact Ream Service or your nearest accredited service agent to arrange an inspection. To see other videos in the Ream Tech Tips series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ream Australia.